uh, if, for example, if you're using a shotgun microphone, um, Rode makes something they call the dead cat, and Remote Audio makes one of these two. Several companies make them, uh, and Rycote makes something called the softy windjammer, and this little fuzzy thing. The Rode Dead Cat is only about $40. The, the right coat, since it comes from Europe, costs a lot more. But some kind of wind protection is really important on a windy day. Now, the problem I have is that if I put this on my camera like this, um, if I shoot wide, this becomes part of the picture. But there's a wonderful little extra accessory <coughs> called the right coat uh, multi-mount. Mini mount? Multi-mount? I think it's the multi-mount. Um, which basically allows me to raise the camera. Most cameras have a cold shoe, and this allows me to put the microphone raised above the camera, and lo and behold, this is now out of the picture. Um, if this doesn't raise it off your camera enough, you can actually get cold shoe extenders. So the point is to try to get the microphone off as much as possible. What's also handy about this little critter is that you can remove the cold shoe adapter and this thing will screw onto a standard boom pole, or I don't own a boom pole, but what I often will do with, um, with this adapter, I can actually screw this onto any standard tripod mount. And now, if I need to have a makeshift boom pole, um, I use my uh, monopod as a makeshift boom pole. Because when it's windy and it's outdoors, you want to try to get that microphone as close to the speaker as possible. And so clearly, a nice lightweight carbon fiber boom pole would be nice to have, but I try to travel very minimal, so I kind of make my monopod double as a boom pole. Now you're saying, but wait, I use a wireless microphone. Well, um, remote audio and right coat make what's called a lavalier wind jammer, which you can put on your lavalier microphone, and now you have a little, little fuzzy decorative thing but it's very practical because it'll reduce the wind noise. Now here's a very important usage tip. If you're going to use a fuzzy lavalier wind jammer, you need to use it with the foam windscreen or the built-in windscreen that came with your microphone because for this to work effectively, there needs to be airspace between the artificial fur, no animals were killed to make this, the artificial fur um, and your lavalier microphone. You can't just put it over the bare lavalier mic. It has to go over the foam windscreen or the, or the accessory windscreen that came with your um, lavalier. And then this makes for a really nice um, thing because you'll hear the audio much clearer uh, without any uh, wind noise. Uh, another, another tip, if you're thinking of buying a wireless mic system, the Sennheiser Evolution G2s are very popular among documentary filmmakers, but you might want to wait because late July, um, early August, supposedly Sennheiser is starting to ship the new third generation Evolution Wireless, the Evolution G3, which has an improvement over the uh, old um, uh, wireless, Evolution Wireless. But what they've done is that right now, this, this is a standard one antenna System. The Evolution G3 is going to use the mic cable as a second receiver antenna, and uh, not to get too technical, but that will cut down on what's called intermodulation. Sometimes you get uh, reflections of your radio waves, um, uh, reflections hitting the um, antenna, so you get some strange interference. But the the new generation, the new G3 will actually use and choose which antenna sounds better and choose the right one to use. So it, it'll be sort of a, a um, not a 